Hey everyone, Josh here with Fresh Start Customs, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a basic keychain with your Glowforge. This has came up recently. I did a more advanced keychain series, but um, I forgot to start like with a basic one here. So I'm going to show you guys how to make basic keychains similar to this one, as you can see here. I make this one about once a year, um, uh, quite a few of these for a car dealership here. Um, and then there's other basic shapes like this as well. So I'll show you guys how to make one out of a basic shape here first. And then if you need that more advanced tutorial, look that up. I do have a more advanced one for like text, um, based ones that have like the cutouts around text. And I'll try and quickly touch base on that as well. So this will be a little bit quicker of a video. I'm going to go through this and show you guys under the assumption that you know some of your tools in Illustrator. And I'll kind of point those out along the way as well. So first up, we're going to make one that looks kind of like this here. Um, and then you can add in your own graphics and text as well. And I'll kind of explain the process here along the way. So we're going to go into Illustrator here. And uh, if you know, know your tools, you'll go over on your left-hand side here if your toolbar is on the left. And then you're going to click on your rectangle tool. We're going to create um, the keychain's base here, so you just click, hold, and drag. And then you're going to make sure it's a cut line instead of a filled vector here. And uh, with that cut line, I'm going to just shrink that down to about 3 inches wide by three point or 1.25 inches tall. That looks like a good size here, but you can change that based on your needs. But as you can see, when I have this highlighted here, you're going to grab this uh, inside little path here this is gonna bring your corners and shave them down to make them round so we're gonna make that to about 0.25 just like that and as you can see we already have our shape so it's gonna it's already taken shape that we need here um, and now all we need to do is add a circle so we're gonna come back over click and hold on this tool here and pull up your ellipse tool click on that and you can either click, hold, and drag while holding shift to make a perfect circle like that. Or you can just click once, which is what I'm going to do. It's going to let you then type in exactly what you want. Um, point two um, tends to work for me best here. Uh, but that will really depend on what type of keychain uh, clasp that you have and what works best for you. And you can always make that bigger or smaller, and you can always move it where you want based on your material's thickness and how your clasp on your keychain works. But um, bringing it up right about um, in this area here works best for me. But let's just say um, you print off a test one that's too close and it breaks off a little too easy if your material's weaker on your keychain. Then just bring it down and to the right a little bit and keep test printing just a blank piece like this to find the right fit for your material's thickness and needs. And that's all you got to do. And there you go. As you can see, we now have the shape made. And now all you got to do is add your text and um, any other graphics that you want to it. Hit print, and then you'll be all set there. So for example, I'm going to just click text here and show you guys how to turn text into a vector, if you don't know that as well. We're just going to click in here. I'm going to write the word hello. And we're just going to leave it like that. But you could select your own um, font or whatever you need, your graphics. Um, and then if you want to add in like um, lines as well, like I did on mine, you can click, hold, and drag. And then um, choose a different color for your score marks. So I'm going to just do that for blue for score. That's what I like to do. I'm going to grab it, hold Alt and Shift, and drag it down to duplicate it here. And there we go. We're just going to say that's what I want my keychain to look like. We're almost done. All we need to do is turn this text into a vector. Um, so we're going to click on the text here. We're going to click on Type, choose Create Outlines. And if it was a cursive font, um, you'll want to open up your Pathfinder tool and click Unite. Um, but I always like to do that, even if it's not cursive, just to be safe. And there you go. Um, you can now highlight everything and then group this with uh, Control and G, and it'll now be a group so you can move it together. 
and that is your first keychain. That is how you make a basic keychain there. And you can just repeat the process with different shapes. So let's say you want your keychain to be a circle. You just hold, create a giant circle, turn it into a cut line like before. And then you can um, create your another circle for your, your cutout, just like that. And then um, if you want to make sure it's centered, just highlight them both. You can then align it. And you, there you have it. You can add to it. Now you now have a, a circle cut out for a keychain. You can do the same process for like stars, um, whatever you want, whatever shape you want. But let's just say you wanted to add a little bit of an um, extra um, amount to it. Uh, by that, I'm going to use a star as an example, what I mean by that. So let's say we make this star here. And instead of just putting a hole right here, you want there to be extra space around that hole. So what we can do is we can just uh, grab a circle shape. We'll draw a circle over this area like this. And we'll highlight both of them, make sure it's aligned. And then uh, we're going to um, unite both of those together just like that. And now that we have that created, we can now add our extra center circle just like that and we're going to line it up again and you now have a christmas ornament with a lot extra space on there so it doesn't crack off or break and that's how you make different shapes and sizes of basic um basic designs here so uh one last thing here is the more advanced thing that um if you want to see a more advanced tutorial um you can check out that other video that i did but let's use the star for another example we're going to just kind of spin it here so it's a little off center and we're going to say that this is a score line here and what we want to do is we want to create an extra space around this so all we need to do is go up to object click on path and then offset path and you can choose how much you want to offset it by I'm gonna just use this default amount that I have click OK as you can see it now offset this um, and you can make that bigger or smaller if you want to but obviously you would want to align it again or just do it correctly and have a bigger offset path but um, just for this example here that is how you offset it and you can change the outside um, line to a cut line and you can do the same thing that you did over here where you add in the extra circle if you want to or you can just drop a hole in there um, so let's just drop a hole like right here or something obviously you want to make that a little bit smaller most likely but you you can do it however you want whatever size hole works for you and you can put it wherever you want there but let's say we have it right there and there you go, you now have your score line, your offset cut. Um, you would essentially do that offset with like text as well, but you have to unite the offset with the text and delete out the center. And you can see that in the other video that's a little bit more advanced here. But that's pretty much it, you guys. I want to keep this as short and su sweet as possible um, using basic shapes and making basic keychains here. I hope this helped you guys out. If you want to see one for like earrings it's kind of the same concept but i'll make a video for earrings and then i can do other little um videos like this for you in the future too but i hope to be doing other tutorial videos in the future for you and uh, we'll catch you guys in the next one